Sexual Assault Awareness Month is coming to a close, and Texas Tech University's events pertaining to the national movement have doubled their turnout since last year. And that may have something to do with the national legislation that has been pushed through recently. Patricia A. Earle has been involved in the event since 2008 as a women's studies coordinator, and she believes the awareness and discussions about sexual assault should extend past the National Month dedication. Just like all Awareness of Months, or even Black History Month or Women's History Month, it needs to be a year-long campaign. And I think there's a number of uh, departments here on campus who want to add to the whole year. I think that what happens is we have a small window sometimes, and so it's really good to take advantage of a full month. So there, there are the pros and cons to having a full month and it's staying within that month. Uh, but I think what I've seen is that students will continue to talk about it throughout the rest of the year. Patricia says the best way to overcome the rape, rape culture is to constantly have an open discussion about preventing and spawning sexual assault. So you hear each story of the incident that happens. And the, the interesting thing is that in the audience, I've been in the audience before, where everyone's told at the beginning that this is a fictitious story. But it becomes so real that the people in the audience begin to question, and nine times out of ten, they'll begin questioning the survivor. And if it happens to be a female, they will question her. And so all of these myths start coming out. Well, you were wearing this. Well, you were drunk. You knew exactly where you were, you know what I mean? So all these things are, are coming at the survivor. And it's fictitious, but it feels really real. It feels like a talk show. Very recently, the president has put into play a law which will hold universities more responsible for sexual assault that occurs on their campuses. Because of this, Patricia says there will be change on tech campuses. Well, I think there's going to be some changes coming uh, really soon to um, the campus being more visible with preventive programming in particular. But I can tell you that there's been a really big push for different departments, including Title IX, housing, as well as counseling, as well as Dean of Students, Women's Studies, other departments that are coming together to say, what can we do to be more uh, visible on the campus with this topic? How can we do more programming that's more visible, that's more inclusive, and that's hitting home to what the president is calling for? Um, basically a no tolerance for sexual violence. Uh, on campuses. I'm Xavier Manley reporting for MCTV.